Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. We are jumping straight back into our warlock today and trying to get to Zaralek Cavern, which I think I know how to do. Our banners to mark what the Dragon Scale Expedition has discovered. We only want to examine that pile of ash, friend. No harm intended. So, if you're new here, my name is Jess, and Stop I like to play some pretty chill the giant of Warcraft. The board through bedrock should be our primary concern, while Abyssian forces us to wait. Rathian. Speak your mind. Perfect timing. It would seem my efforts to investigate the area are not welcome. Would you mind helping me straighten out this situation? The Black Talon are always watching. The centaur practically attacked us upon our arrival. He seems quite protective over this burning pile of ashes. I know you have worked alongside the Shakar before. Would you speak to him? I would like to confirm what happened here. There is no chance that this is all coincidence. If it connects to the Incarnates at all, we must learn all that we can. Until next time. Yours is the most welcome face. Are these dragons with you? More like she's with us, but yes. Rude. Are you good? These two descended upon me without warning while I tended to my fallen comrade. If they are with you, then I am willing to lower my guard. There was a great calamity last night. I know not the cause of it, but the earth quaked like we have never felt before. All of us at Timberstep were accounted for except for a single guard, Shalkiel. We sent search parties into the Mirewood, but found no trace of him. Not until this morning when I came to this cliffside. This is all that's left, a pile of ashes. I was only able to identify him by engraving by the engraving on his spear. I attempted to move the ashes, but they won't stop burning. I've never seen anything like it before. Our only option is to bury him here at the site of his death. I asked Roshka to aid me in the burial, but there are too many repairs to make in the village. Would you help me instead? Primalists, many of them. A horde trampled their way through the canyon below and into the hole in the earth. The look on your face tells me you'll be following their trail. I can only warn you to be wary and be prepared. Get some rest. A pile of ash wafts pungent scents of sulfur and death up to your nostrils. Its flames refuse to subside. The only solace for the poor soul this ash used to be is that the overwhelming ferocity of their attacker ensured a quick death. A shakar spear that's been thoroughly singed, its welder must have dropped it before they were fully engulfed in flame. The only identical marks are the artisan tier etchings of the centaur, centaur language upon the shaft. Tell me of Azeroth. Abyssian dawdles while the incarnates breathe destruction on our land, I tire of waiting for him to arrive. The tunnel beneath us was recently bored, so recently in fact, that I can still feel the heat coming off of it from here. There are also impressions of ice and earth on the edge of the cliffside. It is as if the ground itself has been manipulated and turned into pure element. There is no doubt this is the work of the incarnates. My return was absolutely crucial. I think this is where we saw in one of the cutscenes, um, what's his face? The pain in the ass who's always like wreaking havoc over the world. Um, like dive into the earth. I think that's down there. You stand before the Black Prince. Farak, that's the pain in the ass I was meaning. I begin to see why Farak was sealed away. Your assistance, as always, has been invaluable. Learn from we can only assume Rathian. this brutality was the work of Farak. I will leave you to it, my friend. Take what time you need. I really need to learn, like, this to... tunnel is massive. Was it just for Farak, or did he bring an army with him? And he seems to be wasting no time now that he is free. Hmm. We wait upon Abyssian, then. Sorry, as I was saying, before these two started chatting, um, I really need to earn my rep up with one of them, because then you can unlock black dragon customizations, and, like, I, I really want it. <laughs> really, really want are? that. 
Zintar's report of primalist forces pushing into the underground after Farak changes the situation. Rathen and I believe it would be tactical it would be a tactical mistake to dawdle any longer, waiting for Abyssian and his devotee to arrive. We still wish for you to join us. If you are ready, then we three should proceed together. Delve underground and fell the primalist blockade. Mistakes okay, I do think made. this I is gonna start taking us to Zero Lake Kevin. By the time Abyssian finds his Drakthir friend, the Primalists will have completed their schemes. Where are we going? Just down. Oh, down here. To Zerolik Kevin, I'm assuming. Creepy. There we go. I'm very intrigued for this little section because I've done it once before. Well, I've done part of it before, but I never read the quest, so I don't actually know the background. See, Rathian, they have been marshalling a defense while we tarried. Rathian. Did you hear that? A voice. Rathian, pay attention. Yes, of course. These primalists do not stand a chance. What's beneath the surface? Discuss the plan with Sibelian. Let me know when you are ready to discuss a plan, champion. I suppose you have something to ask of me. Barak is our prey. These peon peons are just stalling us. Very well. Keep low. We have not been spotted. I usually prefer the stealthy approach as well. But now is the time to let dragons be dragons. Remind these weaklings who they are dealing with. Rathian, no! You are just going to- Going to terrify them? Make them reevaluate their life choices? Agreed. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you order animal fools would come! Remember the name Lorak! I am sure these caverns will be your tomb! You think dragons fall so easily? Stop! He is baiting us, Rathian! Oh, that bastard! We have lost the element of surprise. Champion, take on the ground forces and I will support you from the air. I do not have a target. Rathian is such, like, a child sometimes. I need to target something first. I kind of love him for it though, he keeps things interesting, that's for sure. I require a target. I need to target something first. Too far away. Well, stop your showboating. Fall in line and listen to my strategy. I require your a target. This whining about a strategy will not win you the throne. Out of range. Oh, Carlos Trump. Let us take I do this not have a talk. Lackey out together, champion. Oh, I didn't even realize he was not late. Oops. Old 
man. Allow me to clear the way for you. Insufferable. to target something first. One thing I was thinking of doing, which I sort of got the idea from you guys in the comments, was potentially doing the Emerald Dream on my druid. I require a target. Because I imagine we're still quite far away from it on the Warlock. And it doesn't mean we won't do it on her, but I know there's a lot of druid customizations in the Emerald Dream that you can unlock. So it would make sense to do it on her, specifically. And then I figured, like, if you guys don't want to watch it on the Druid, you just, you just don't have to. You can just wait till the Warlock gets there. Um, because she did just finish Battle for Azeroth off, um, at least as far as I'm going to do on the channel, because we finished sort of the very main campaign. So hopefully that's something you guys will be interested in. It was funny, I literally just... <laughs> Got down to two playthroughs which i was like oh this is nice it's a little bit less back and forth and then now i'm sort of going to add something into I it again so hopefully you guys will like that if not i can always just do it myself like off recording um but i think i'll, I'll start it and see how we go and see if you guys enjoy it and if not then i, I can just you know stop no dramas i need to target something first We just need to kill the portal gate though. Now, wherever they are. Oh, down there. I'm imagining. Oh my gosh, my pet's been on passive this whole time and literally not attacking anything. Love that. <laughs> There we go, I need him. Now they try to best the black dragon flight with, with fire? <laughs> oh, cute. Indeed, their grasp of effective stratagem is only surpassed by yours, Rathian. Shall we kick the braggart off his walking mountain of mud? This filthy fool seems to be the only one left standing against us. I require us. a target. Should we not have some fun? Lord Farak was unconcerned, but I knew you'd follow. I am a planner. I am prepared. This is the part where you die! Attack them, my mud minion! I do not have a target. You die! Killing you should have been easy! must admit, Rathian, you acquitted yourself well in the fight. Well, I... Thank you, Civilian. Now, once we have dealt with this flame incarnate, I will be sure to find a place for you. Among my troops. Your troops? Sepelius!
is to bonk them in just the right spot. With a 10-ton crystal. <laughs> oh, my joints will be hurting later tonight. Anywho, you look like you're new around these parts. Welcome, Uplander. I'm Honey Pelt. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. You're an Uplander, aren't you? You've gotten yourself into quite the bind. Would you like some help? I would Hello, love some, sir. Uplander. To say you smell lost is an understatement. Good luck hunting feasties. Ain't nothing to be afraid of down here, I mean, except for the big old deep flayers, and the killer snails, and the poisonous small bats. Maybe the falling rocks too, but those aren't a problem if you can burrow in the dirt. Sniff out good escape routes. Have you seen these deep flayers before? Well, of course you have. You were almost eaten by one. They're getting a little too cozy to me and my people's settlement nearby and need to be dealt with. Inside the cave, outside the cave, they're all over the place. That's why I came here in the first place. Since I can tell we'll be rambling around with each other for a bit, why not give me a hand? I can't wait to smell your next adventure. You're smelling real down and out there, kid. Can't imagine what you've been through to end up here. Well, it don't matter. We Niffin ain't the sort to end to leave anyone behind, especially not people we're about to be served. Especially not people who are about to be served up as Deep Flayer's snack. This master snifflin snout of mine can smell you. Don't come down here to our Zeralek Captain alone. What say we get you out of these crystals and find your friends? Always be prepared for my. Don't worry, I've got excellent control of my. There you go, Uplander. What say we go find those friends I smell on you? Well, aren't you just the most aromatic thing? Can you leave me to my companions? Shouldn't be a problem. They may be out of sight, but very little escapes this nose. Well, he is speedy. <gasps> Cute! What was I going to do? This professional knowledge. Thingy, I guess that case opened itself because I can't see it anywhere, so. Continuing on. Not here. Can you deal with these deep layers? I'll need the space to sniff out where your friend is. I was say it would, but there's like none around, so. Oh no! Your friend was dragged off by a deep flare! This way! Oh. I must get closer. here either. Just more deep layers. Take care of them so they can't bamboozle my sniffer. Oh, I got it now. Your friend spends a lot of time trying to smell nice, doesn't he? That definitely sounds like Rathian to me. Oh, there we go! Smells like spices and expensive oils, with just a note of flop sweat underneath. Uh, champion, get me out of these blasted crystals! They are blocking my ability to transform! Behind you, those foul creatures are back. Just relax and let your friend the Uplander protect our lives while I break you out. Thank you, my friend. I normally do not fall prey to such creatures. We meet again, champion.
I need to target something first. I'm gonna make sure I actually kill enough before we um leave. We still I need a couple. A then why that this is the end of the cave? Oh well, we can always run back in, I guess. to you boast about how you slew Nazoth single-handedly. It was a team effort, something you are incapable of understanding. Well, there is a familiar scent. Told you we'd sniff out your companions, though it seems like they're carrying a lot of dirt on their backs. The figurative kind, I mean. Anyway, if you're willing to pay back the favor of me rescuing you, I've still got some business here. Good luck hunting beasties. Definitely, I guess we have to kill this dude and do his other quest before he'll give us the next one. You smell full of adventure. Did you make friends with any of the flayers? Just kidding, that was a joke. Please don't try to do that unless you want to become some swooper's tasty snack. Always be prepared for monsters. I didn't just come all the way out here to save your sniffers, you know. The deep flayers are vicious and stubborn, like obsidian ore. We've tried to lead them from our town by leaving out food and such, but they're all too keen to attack our sparrow cabins. It's the big biggin ruling over there that'll be trouble. Want to pay me back? Let's you, me, and your cologne-scented friend hunt it down together. I've got the perfect bait we can use too. Sniff out, good escape route. Well, let's get going. I've got the most stinky bait. It'll be perfect. You say, what is Rathian doing over here? Before we start, I know my relationship with Sabellian is certainly strained, but our behavior back there was out of line. I think it is this place. Something out there is testing my mental defenses, worming its way through my mind and keeping my teeth on edge. I will speak to Sibelian about the outburst in my own time. Things are never simple with him. You both have my apologies. Mm. You boys just need to sniff it out. Words can hurt, but the nose never lies. Well, it does if we set a trap with these chunks of meat. The big and deep flare we're after will be lured into our ambush by the smell. to do this solo. Let's take a breath and regroup. It's cool, you can fly in the cabin considering we're technically not outdoors. But I guess we are well, in the sea. Is a familiar scent. Certainly wasn't no lack of fight in that one, was there? Ah, you did a good job with that big fella, Blander. Why don't I show the cologne wearer here how to dress a deep flare? <laughs> cologne I'll wearer. have you know, I am quite the outdoorsman. I could prepare this fellow with my eyes shut. 
I have been expecting you. By my scales, I needed that win, that blasted incarnate swatting us like flies did a number on my ego, and I assume Sibelian feels no different. As infuriating as I find his lack of humour, groaning voice and ugly shoes, I would ask that you check in on him. He is still family after all, and I do not wish him to become dinner to these deep flayers. Meet Honeypelt and I outside these dreadful nests when you fin when you finish up with Sibelian. Every action has consequences. Sure, where is he even? Certainly looks like one of father's gadgets. Oh, I did not see that there. Come now. Speak. I could hear you and Rathian yawping from all the way over here. If you have finished with all that, why not take a look at this? The black dragon flight grumpy, stands he? proud. Look closely. You see this odd chunk of metal in the deep flayer muck? I have felt my head swimming since we arrived in these caverns. I thought it was just the ceaseless prattling of our whelp, Rathian. <laughs> But this object here may prove otherwise. I will continue my efforts to unlock this relic's secret. Seek out similar pieces in the nearby caves. A dark theory is emerging, but we will need more information before I am willing to confirm it. My wits are my own. Wait, champion. Before you go, I feel I must... apologize. My temper got the best of me a moment ago. In truth... I reminded myself of my father in that moment. But that is not who I am. Something about this place is causing me to lose focus and become distracted. That is how Farrakh was able to defeat us so easily. I will not let that happen again. Rathian, as brash a fool as he is, did not deserve my ire. Neither did you. Please forgive my reaction and let us continue as companions. Sure thing, mate. Um, I didn't think they were that bad, to be honest. <laughs> the little outburst they keep talking about, I'm like, nah, could have been worse. A sundered flame scout lay dead, slain and feasted on by the nearby beasts. Their hand rests on a conspicuous button connected to the relic. Press the button. I can't let the experiment loose of this. I broke my promise to access. Hmm. Oh. Hello. This relic has clearly been mauled by the deep flayers. You take what parts of it still seem undamaged for Sibelian to find use for. Okay, where is this other one? Down here. In some sort of cave? Is there a cave? Oh, where am I going? Ah, where am I going? It's not a cave either. Okay, great. Literally right in front of my face. I require a target. You prod, but the relic seems inactive. You eventually reveal a small slot. Within the slot is a series of buttons, each with a unique symbol. Sibelian will want to know about this. You seem familiar. A dead scout for the Sundered Flame near one of the relics? That is no coincidence. 
Abyssian told us they were pursuing clues left by father, I must admit that this relic and the ones you describe finding look quite familiar to me. Familiar and familial stirs my insides. Be on your way. Ah, perfect. Thank you, champion. These spare parts are just what I need. Can I? And a hidden slot with buttons, you say? Ah, here it is. The faded symbols on the buttons. They are draconic. Oh! What is this now? My ambitions were far greater than my capacity to control what I had created. Oh, Aberus, my beloved laboratory. I must leave you to the dust and ruin of these caverns. May my kin never find what I have attempted here. Father... What is Abris? What horrors have you unleashed upon us this time? Mm. I've been too long away. Father, is there no end to your senseless schemes? Your very presence? Even now I can feel you cackling at me from beyond the grave. We are not bound by the shadows of our past. It would seem there is truly no end to Father's secrets. I must have time to think on this. Meet me in... Loam? Where Honey Pelt hails from. She offers us respite there while you... She offers us... She offered us respite there while you were still in the cave. I would only ask that you check on Rathian. He may be a ceaselessly buzzing pest, yes, but these recent events force me to admit I care for his well-being too. There are only so many black dragons left, we must look out for each other. Mistakes were made. Take care. I will wait for you along the path to this honey pelt's home. Aberis. Father. What have you done down here? Hey, buddy. It seems our fates are intertwined. Is that depressing lump of mood, Sibelian? All right. What? I care enough to at least ask about him. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hello, Uplander. I smelled you weren't a bad sort from the start. A little sweaty, but not a bad sort. Consider this your personal invitation to Loam, home of the Niffin. Let's all meet just outside the entrance. That way I can give you and your pals the proper Niffin welcome. Sniff out, good escape route. Cute. Mm. We'll be eating good tonight. Young man, would you help an elder carry this ton of meat to her wagon just outside the nests? It would be my pleasure. Are these deep flares what your people normally eat? Oh no, the opposite usually. But someone needs to go and fight the horrors that prey on the people of my town. Oh. I do not have a target. Okay, it's actually like ages away. <laughs> Ooh, but they've got the worthy ally quest for this zone right now, so that's amazing. We might just ally and skip their little wandering though. She has plumage the way. Here's the gang. Well, aren't you just the most aromatic thing? You ready for the greatest city under the sunny, sunny ground? We're ready to enter Loam. The hunting books Loam? like the Loam? Uplanders you were waiting for have already settled in with us. Told you the Niffin were hospitable. She's so cute. She's back! Elder Honey Belt! Tell me everything. Calm down, Brine Sauce. These uplanders got into quite the scrape with that fiery beast we scented earlier. 
Let's get them settled in and I'll tell you the tale. Of course. Where are my manners? Welcome to Rome, Uplanders. Welcome to Loam Uplander, our shining smell of a city. Orantia is the name. I'm the high redolence around here, which is just a fancy way of saying I'm the leader. It also means I'll be protecting my people from all the trouble that's broken on through from above. But you know what? We've got time for all that later. Abyssian and Emberthal have already filled me in, so why not take a second to rest up on a soft patch of dirt? Buddy system, don't wander off alone! Be smelling ya! I'm impressed. Elder Honeypelt speaks highly of you, and that's rare. Your friends Abyssian and Emberthal admittedly made similar impressions with us after we caught their scent. They told me of your hunt for the fiery monster that's invaded Zaralek from the uplands. A worthy reason to become allies. But we'll need a bit more time to discuss it. Why not take a short break to meet with my people, trade, leisure, travel. There's no shortage of ways to spend your time here in Loam. Quite a few uplanders have arrived since the cavern was split clean open. A friendly winged one by the name of Vaskan has been particularly helpful to us. She's made the guard's armor tougher and the monster hunter's weapons stronger. She's going to be plenty valuable if you plan on taking down more giant beasties here in Zaralek. Oh, I hate to see you go now. You smell full of adventure. Ain't it incredible, uplander? Now for the back-breaking labor. We've got to deliver this deep flayer meat to all my customers and collect their pay. I'd carry it all myself, but I'm just a poor, old, frail, gorgeous woman in need of, in need now, aren't I? Honeypelt gives you an expertly practiced wink. Why don't you handle it for me? Brinsaurus will do the heavy lifting while you take a little tour of the place, put your best smell forward, wear a friendly sword. I can't wait to smell your next adventure. Well, hello there. I heard you've been helping us out. How about you meet me in Loam so we can get you a, a reward? Keep up the good work. Muck. Talk to Muck and Loam. Baladash Malanore. Fortune has favoured our exploration. We have discovered something that may prove useful to you. It is half of a spark of shadow flame. And unfortunately just a shard and not powerful on its own, but should you locate the other piece and unite them, the spark could serve as a powerful reagent in your craft work. Find another splintered spark of shadow flame, unite both pieces to unlock their full potential. It's actually quite cool that they um put this into a quest. Stay the course. Because you do need that later for um uh, uh like crafting epic gear and stuff, so that is quite cool. I've already done that, of course, but if you hadn't. Well, hello there, traveler. Let your nose guide ya. I'm only gonna pick up the campaign quests, not all the little ones. Um, as I've mentioned before, we're not doing the full four quests anymore, just the campaign. Just to keep the storyline more cohesive. Best gone. The skies call to me. Fair skies and strong winds. Got quite the gear on you. Shall we see what we can make of it? Until next time. What brings you here? I do want to at least repair my gear and sell everything. This has been removed from the game. What? Farewell. Weird. We won't forget what you've done for us. Bye now. A worthy ally. Jaradin, Drakthir, and Dragons, oh my, we can't help but smell the danger in these here caverns. We sure could use some armed assistance. You scratch my back and I'll make sure to scratch yours. We've got loads of good stuff for the right clientele. How about it? Get out there and bury the competition. 
This one I'm going to do even though it's not a campaign because you get like um, more rep and stuff with them. So. <laughs> don't put your nose where it don't belong. <laughs> Keep your nose clean. Okay. I'm going to hide that though because we don't need to see it. Oh my god, I love the music. <laughs> Didn't see you there, buddy. <laughs> Sarah let Kevin will not see the end of these new enemies anytime soon, so let us continue getting to know each other with open arms and open snouts. Consider this your official invitation to stay with us here in Loam, the great city of smells. Oh, I hate to see you go now. Alrighty, let's talk to you. Whoa, you smell of adventure. Ready to deliver. Whoa, you smell completely different to anything I've ever smelled. Even Elder Honeypelt doesn't come back with scents this unexpected. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'll be your guide in Rome. Let me show you why Elder Honeypelt chose me as her monster hunter apprentice. What are you and what is this? There's treasure everywhere. Just gotta sniff it out. How can I help? Hi friend. Where can I find more dig maps for us? Why can't you Seems dig it up? Oh. Sir. Oh. Fuck. Um, yeah, I'm confused. What the heck is this? everywhere just gotta snip it out don't know what that is but we'll leave it for out. now trade with the teacher trade, trade with the resourceful share to help them. Thanks, so. I need to target something first. Alrighty, where's this last one? over here. It's gonna be so hard not to get sidetracked by all these quests. <laughs> we might do some. You know, some of the world ones or whatever they are. While we're while we're around. Hello Uplander not too shabby kid, maybe there's room for you on the monster hunting roster yet. Just kidding, another joke, there is no roster, just combat hungry suckers who got rocks rolling around their gut like I do. reactions to everything in Loam made me appreciate the familiar in a whole new way. <laughs> way to go, Uplander. You get there one day, keep trying. Okay. Not good. Not good. We'll just get this one to sell. Always be prepared for monsters. <sighs> Ah, could smell you a mile away! That was just a taste of the Niffin lifestyle. There's still far more to Loam and even more from Zaralek Kevin. Continue exploring while you pursue the fiery monster and let its sense continue to amaze you. For now, Abyssian asks that I send you this way. 
is way, seems your companions are planning what to do next. Be smelling you. Oh, they're right here. Hey, dudes. It is good to see you. Let's discuss our next steps. Be careful. The Niffin saw an eruption of fire in the cavern you came from. Was that Farak? He defeated us. As if we were nothing. He is surprisingly stealthy. I am sure we can devise an effective strategy if we are not distracted by... The Whispers. Yes. They distracted us at key moments. They are quieter when I use my visage. Also, I have discovered some recording artifice of my father's. He talked of a laboratory called Avarice. A sundered flame partisan was killed by one of them. Neltharion. That must be why Sarkarath is here. I will go and search for this Avarice. Quietly and alone. Stay hidden, Rathion. Queen Orondia has spoken of a nearby temple. Could it be connected to Abarus? I would ask Elder Honeypelt to guide you. She is quite capable. Indeed. She saved Sibelian from the Deep Flayers. You should have heard his cries. <laughs> I was able to rescue myself without any assistance whatsoever. Unlike... <sighs> It is foolish sparring with that whelp. Oh, they are funny, those two. I am glad you are here. It seems our skirmish with Farak has been a blow to us all. I was hoping to proceed with caution, strategy, and unity. We must rise above our own conflict before we can soar. Though I still wish you had waited for Embathal and myself to arrive, I do not believe the outcome would have been any different. This incarnate is more powerful than we anticipated. There is much to consider. The winds guide you. Aspects watch over you. My brothers are not interested in, in investigating the Sundered Flame or helping Embathal. It worries me that they are dividing our efforts, but I understand their motivation in considering our next steps against Farak immediately. I will aid Embathal as I promised, but perhaps we could ask for help from the local Niffin. We must rise above our own conflict before we can soar. These are trying times. We don't need a guide. We could ask Caligos. We could ask Honeypelt. We need a guide to the temple you have found, Honeypelt. We believe it is a Titan vault and has a connection to Avarice. Well, Monsanto hasn't marked that route. You'll need Tiberius to take you there. Parasimona, where's your husband? Oh, Elder Honeypelt, I was just coming to tell you. Tiberius went to the vault and <gasps> he's gone. He and his uplander client were kidnapped. Oh, by the cinder-smelling scale people like her. You mean like me? The Sundered Flame must be there. But... why? It seems our purposes are aligned once more, Emberthal. Can you take us there, Parasimona? Anything for my sweet-smelling snailykins! I mean, <clears throat> to Baros. Oh, follow me. I'll show you where I last saw him. Aspects watch over you. Awesome. Okay. That is where we are going to finish up. to the vault, oh. remember... Anything you find is mine by birthright. You are welcome to it. I want nothing from Neltherion. Honeybelt, I require food and drink to clear my head and strategize. Do you wish to join me? Okay, now that they're done talking, um, that is where we're going to finish up for today. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your support and would love if you could give this video a thumbs up. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and live stream every second Wednesday. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next part of our journey. I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.